you can you as a muslim should never ask me this question unless you're dishonest because according no. to your own quran according to your quran you must make uh, kafara atonement for sin that's in your quran that's number one number two in your hadith sahih muslim sahih muslim now watch how you're gonna deny it and i'm gonna show it to you right now it says allah will punish jews and christians in hell as a sacrifice for your sins so he can forgive you why Muki, how do you want me to help you what do you want me to do no no you i want uh, i want to to, de to debate with you because of your critique of islam and muhammad let's no, go you're on. Not gonna answer me why so why you want me to do it I answer. I'll answer all your questions, you but, but you also answer our question about Christianity. Okay, so you want to ask me a question about Christianity? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Let's see if what kind of question you're going to ask me. Let's okay. see. Okay, so I want to ask you, explain to us what is the Trinity? I don't think you want an explanation. Do you? Yes, I do, because okay. I don't. Uh, okay, let me explain. God, his eternal word, who became flesh, and his eternal spirit. What's the problem with that? Okay. When God come flesh, was yes. he fully God? Or Why? was he just can part God, of it? Well, let me ask you. Well, can God become flesh and still be God? Or does he have to cease to be God if he becomes flesh? I don't know. I don't know. Because God said we, he, doesn't, he doesn't change his nature. Okay, well, how that, does it doesn't, nature doesn't change? How come again. it changes nature from See, God? You didn't to, answer the question again, Muki. This is why you're wasting my time. Okay. I already asked you the question that you didn't answer. Why do you okay. think that if God takes on flesh, his divine nature changes? How no, does that change divine nature? Because because he said in the scripture, God doesn't change his what nature. Verse? You don't even know the verse. I know the verse better than you. I, I, and it doesn't I, say it doesn't change his nature, even though his nature doesn't change. But you don't know the verse that you're pretending no, to quote. Where are you know, quoting? I don't know the verse exactly. I, exactly. I'm, you know, I'm going to tell you. See, I'm going to tell you my Bible. Yes. Malachi 3, verse 6. Do you know what That's it means? What Malachi 3, verse 6. Do you know what it means? I know what you're quoting. So you think like, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know my Bible. No, I'm not like you. That don't know the cross. That's why I'm asking you. I'm okay. asking you to understand. Malachi 3, 6 is telling you that God doesn't change his purpose. Meaning when God decides to do something he doesn't change his purpose but he's faithful to do what he wants that's why he says israel won't be consumed but that didn't answer the other question Muki. why do you assume that if god takes on flesh becomes man the divine nature changes the divine nature doesn't change jesus takes on flesh becomes human without his divine nature changing it remains the same so this is why i asked you a question can allah who's all powerful do everything can he become man without ceasing to be God? Yes or no? No, because men are deficient by nature. But no, that doesn't answer my question. Why do you That's assume it. that if God becomes man, he'll be deficient? So, I mean, God can't be a complete man? If he becomes man, he'll be deficient? Yeah, no, you cannot because yeah. men have, have, have to, to do certain things, have to eat. That's you. Sleep. But why can't God become man? and still be fully God, and be a complete man. You are a man, you're imperfect. Okay, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about Allah. You say Allah is powerful over all things. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Why do you, why, where does why the Quran a, a say he can't do that? Show me in the eye of the Quran where it says he can't do that. No, well, what, uh, why a perfect being, a perfect being, changes nature to an imperfect Again, being? you said changes nature. See, there, you're wasting my time. Let me repeat no, the question. I'm, I'm, can I'm God, sorry. can God, who is perfect, take on human nature without changing his divine nature? Yes or no? No. Oh, he can't? Well, show me the verse where the, uh, Allah says, I can't take on human nature, take on a physical body without changing my divine nature. Where does the Quran say that? Uh, I don't know exactly where, where on the Quran he say that. No, he says something else. He say uh, uh, God doesn't doesn't uh, um, doesn't uh, uh, how do you say in English? Um, I don't know. Look like his his creation. 
You're actually wrong because I have Sahih Hadith where your prophet said your God appeared with curly hair, beardless, and a, and a red robe. So you don't know what you're talking about. This is Sahih. No, this, this, is, this is talking about the Dajjal. No, it's talking about Allah. You just called your God Dajjal. Here, let me show it to you. Thank you for calling your God Dajjal. Good job, buddy. No, my God, he uh, said, Dajjal. my Lord, Rabbi. He He's said, my about Lord, that. Rabbi. Here, hold on. Go, go, be patient, man. Come on. Hold on. I'm going to show you. He says, my Lord, Rabbi. He didn't say Dajjal. Here it is. Do me a favor, Protestant. Open up so we can show him the link on the screen. So you just said Allah's okay. Dajjal? Stuck for Allah. No, no, I didn't say that. I said... The explanation is talking about the Dajjal. No, he said, Rabbi, my Lord came to me. My Lord, Rabbi. He's going to open it. Let's show you. Hold on. Open it up for us, buddy. Just be patient with my friend uh, who's helping yeah. me. You know, he's, I, he's old. He's like 120 years old. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Now, scroll down to the Hadith, brother. Uh, we're... Show him first because we're going to show him from the Muslim website. I don't want him to see it from my site. He's going, oh, no, this is Christian. Okay, scroll down. Scroll down. Let's click on the link. Click on the link. We're going to read. There's different versions. So let me read several versions. Okay, this is alam.org. Tirmidhi. Jami Tirmidhi, Hadith 237. Jami Tirmidhi, Hadith 237. Did you open up? Yeah, go scroll down. Let's read. Okay. Narrator, Abdurrahman. I can't see the narrator if you go all the way down. Ibn Aish. Allah's messenger said, I saw my Lord, Rabbi, the exalted and glorious, in the most beautiful form, surah in Arabic. He said, what do the angels in the presence of Allah contend about? I said, thou art the most aware of it. He then placed his Lord, Rabbi, placed his palm, palm between my shoulders, and I felt its coolness in my chest, and I came to know what was in the heavens and the earth. He recited, thus did we show Ibrahim the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and it was so that he might have certainty. This is chapter 6, verse 75. Dadami reported in a mursal form, and Tirmidhi also reported it. Let me give you a few more hadiths before you comment. I'll go back to my article. Let's look at these hadiths. Okay, scroll down to the next one. All right. And you click on the link to go to the actual site. So he doesn't think, oh, it's Christian, you're lying, you kafir, you munafik. You know, I don't want him to say that. Okay, click on it. Alam.org. It's on the screen everyone sees. Jamia Tirmidhi, Hadith 245. Jamia Tirmidhi, and this is Sahih. Narrator, Muad ibn Jabal. Muad ibn Jabal. Allah's messenger was detained. One morning from observing, by the way, that you see the word says the donate. Can you get rid of that or no? See on your right, it says donate. It's like blocking some of the. Yeah, air. I know. It's the site, man. Okay, if it's not, then, then just uh, uh, decrease the font a little bit size so I can see it because just a little. Okay, yeah, now go up. Yeah, that's good enough. Allah's messenger was detained one morning from observing the dawn prayer congregation along with us till the sun had almost appeared on the horizon. He then came out hurriedly and Iqama for prayer was observed and he conducted it in brief form. When he had concluded the prayer by saying, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, rahmatullah, he called out to us saying, Remain in your places as you were. Then turning to us, he said, I'm going to tell you what detained me from you, on account of which I could not join you in the prayer in the morning. I got up in the night and performed ablution, wudu. And observed the prayer as had been ordained for me. I dozed in my prayer, fell asleep, till I was overcome by sleep. And lo, I found myself in the presence of my Lord, Rabbi, the blessed and the glorious, Azwajal. In the best form, surah, my Lord in a surah form. He said, Muhammad, I said, at thy voice, my Lord, Labayik, Rabbi. He said, what? These highest angels contend about. I said, I do not know. He repeated it three times. He said, Then I saw him. This is your prophet saying, I saw him, my 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 Lord Rabbi, put his palms, palms. This is a palm. Where did he put him? Between my shoulder blades till I felt the coolness of his fingers. So your Lord has fingers between the two sides of my chest. Then everything was illuminated for me, and I could recognize everything. He said, Muhammad, I said, at thy service, my Lord. Labayk, Rabbi. 
He said, what do these high angels contend about? I said, in regard to expiations. He said, what are these? I said, going on foot to join congregational prayers, sitting in the mosque after the prayers. Do you want me to read the rest of it or you got it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Is it a, a strong hadith? Or, yes, or, Sahih. Or, Scroll or down. Yeah, no, no, Sahih. Transmitted by Ahmed, Tirmidhi who said, this is Hassan Sahih Hadith. Hassan good Sahih. And I asked Muhammad ibn Ismail about this hadith, and he said, it is sahih hadith. It's sound. It's sahih. And I, I want to give you the one where he appears without a beard, with curly hair, and that's sahih. Yeah, we, we have to have the explanation of this hadith because well, I don't have it. To explain explain, it. To, explain to me how your Lord appears in a surah well, with hands I, and fingers. I, have, I don't have that explanation. I have to check and, uh, okay, and look check. what it exactly is. What I want to ask you, here your but, Lord appears as a man. I, I was I was asking you a question. You went no because way. I'm showing you when you told me Allah cannot do it. You don't know what you're talking about. That's why I, we I, went here. Okay, okay. I, I do I do understand okay, that. Can God appear as a man and become a man without ceasing to be God? Yes or no? No. But the things is you you you, you see you you you're mixing two things. This is appearing. I mean, is like is is he appear? So, but he's changing his surah, oh. right? No, no, no. I don't say that. I said he come. You, you, the difference between this hadith and 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 Jesus and Jesus is that he has come to a flesh. Sure. So but why can't you know, he become flesh without ceasing to be God? Because, like I said in the beginning, uh, the, the man have this deficiency. See again, you're not answering the question. Why do you assume that if God becomes man, that will be deficient? Why can't God become a perfect man and not deficient? You didn't answer the question. Because we 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 saw him, we saw him eat, we saw him drink. We Who saw told him you sleep? eating is a deficiency? So when in Jannah you I, eat, are you deficient? deficient. Because uh, because by definition, Lord doesn't have to sleep, doesn't have to eat, doesn't have to well, drink. But you're not Almighty, answering the question. Almighty. Doesn't have so the to. Almighty God can't become man and eat and sleep and still be Almighty. So that means no. he's not Almighty. He's weak because he can't become he has, man. He has changed, because he has he's changed his uh, his his nature. No, he can't change his nature if he's or, God and he takes on a human nature and experiences human existence. But he's still in control of his human existence and his body and his functions. That means he's still Almighty, Almighty as a man yeah. in the flesh because as God. He's controlling his physical body. He's controlling his human nature. He's controlling his human desires as he lives a human life. That's the definition yeah. of Almighty. So can he do you that? Know, no, you know, you know, you, you will, you will, you will be more, um, uh, more, uh, sen uh, more sense that he have come and don't, don't eat, don't sleep, don't drink. You know what I'm Why? saying? Why? Then he's not that really human. All... Can you be really but human? Is, 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 right. Can you really be human? <laughs> This okay, is a characteristic yeah. of a human to eat, Can to drink. Can you to be a real human being and you don't eat, you don't sleep here in this world? In no, this world, can you be a real human being if you don't eat and you don't sleep? But if you are God, you don't That's, need to sleep. You don't need this to eat. You're not answering the question. In what this world, can you be truly a real human being if you don't eat, you don't sleep? No. Okay, good. Now, if God wants to become a true human being without ceasing to be God, could he be a true human being if he doesn't sleep and eat and yet still be God at the same time? It's a contradiction. How is it a contradiction? Then that means you're saying you're a contradiction. When your body sleeps, is your spirit asleep or is it awake in you? Is awake. So wait, how can your spirit be asleep if your body is a? Uh, how can your spirit be awake if your body is asleep? So you can still be awake. Your because spirit my can body, be awake. So if you're not body. listening, you're not going to hear my argument. You, your spirit can be awake and your body asleep, but God can't still be the ever living, all awake, while as a man and he sleeps. He can't do both. You said it's a contradiction. Yes, because uh, my, my well, body. But you can do it, but God can't do it. Yeah, you make sense. Because God doesn't need that. Who He's said not... He needs it? He chose to. It, we asked, but he, he, why? Why doesn't choose to be? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, something. in our Bible that you don't accept. My Bible says He chose to do that. 
yes, he chose to do that, and he chose to do something that he, he, he is is not uh, is not uh, is not necessary to do it because if he's God, he doesn't. So have he didn't have to, but he wanted to. So are you yeah. going to tell God what he cannot do? He wanted to do it. So what's your problem? He goes, I want to do it. But if God is 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 perfect, so God you mean. Was your prophet a perfect human being, Al Insan, Al Kamil? Yes, of course. But he slept, right? Yes, he's a human being. Then he's not perfect, according to you, because uh -oh. a perfect being does not sleep. So, how can Muhammad be perfect if he sleeps? You see, you make no sense again. Yes, I do you make just, sense. No, but, you just destroyed your own uh, argument, fellow. Yeah, or right, don't gang up on him, Protestant. Hold on. <laughs> Protestant getting inside. Men sleep because they, 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 they thank they, you. But a man can sleep and still be perfect, right? Doesn't need to sleep like angel. Doesn't oh, you need mean a man doesn't need to sleep. So Muhammad didn't need to sleep and, and when he was in this world, yes, you need to sleep. God, uh, and he was still perfect. He was still perfect, perfect when he slept. No, for the for the human nature is. Per, is imperfect when you do sins. Oh, not stop for Allah. So you don't believe Muhammad was Masum? That he was no. protected, that he's Al Insan, Al Kamal, the perfect man? Stop for Allah, then you are now Kafir, man. Can I ask you a question? Okay, but do you agree before I go you to the next one? You, you are digressing, digressing, digressing. How digressing. digressing? I'm showing you don't make sense, you contradict yourself. Go. Talking, talking to, to now to, to, to Prophet Muhammad, that is not no, the, 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 the not I was Moko, talking about. If you don't get my point, we're wasting time. I, Understand what I I'm do, saying. I do get your point. Okay, good. So, can you admit now? And I'll let you ask the question. Can you admit if God is going to be a true man, you can't be a true man if you don't sleep and eat? So, if God chooses, He doesn't have to, He chooses to become a true man. Then, as a man, truly man, he sleeps and eats, but he's still perfect because he doesn't stop being God. Can at least we agree on that, even though you don't believe it? No, no, I don't. I don't agree on that, and I don't believe it. Okay, but that's, that's what you. That's, that's what you think. There's no problem. I, 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 you, you, you are, you are free to to, to think what you want. Okay. Not my, right. Good. What's my, your my, question? Now? Go ahead. My question now. Uh, another question. Uh, when God, when God, uh, why God? Give is 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 because you said is a son. He give his only son to sacrifice. Because his only son is the owner of no. creation. I'm answering your question. You don't want me to answer? Okay, I won't answer. Go to the next question. I've not finished my question. Oh, okay, go ahead. Uh, so why God give his son to sacrifice? Mm. Why doesn't he forgive him? Forgive to yeah. he, he give his sacrifice to forgive. To the sins of human being, but why yeah, don't you shouldn't you... ask me that question? Because as a Muslim, you shouldn't ask me that question unless you're dishonest again. No, I'm just asking. Are you dishonest the... or are you are you oh. honest? No, no. Let me finish my question, and then you 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 will. No, yeah, find... you are saying why doesn't just God simply forgive? Yes. Okay, I know your question, but then you're a dishonest Muslim, because why? if you are an atheist, maybe you can ask me the question. Because both the Bible and the Quran says that. Allah forgives you, not simply by just saying forgive you, but you have to also, also have your sins paid for. And this is in Islam. In Islam, you're not a Quran only Muslim, right? Yeah. Okay, you sure you're not Quran only? Because I'm going to now show you you're going to lie and backpill. So you can't, you as a Muslim should never ask me this question unless you're dishonest. Because according no. to your own Quran, According to your Quran, you must make uh, kafara, atonement for sin. That's in your Quran. That's number one. Number two, in your hadith, Sahih Muslim, Sahih Muslim. Now watch how you're going to deny it. And I'm going to show it to you right now. It says, Allah will punish Jews and Christians in hell as a sacrifice for your sin so he can forgive you. Why? <laughs> no. This is not. This is not what I'm. Uh, you're, you're laughing. Okay. Okay. Because yeah, you're, laugh. you're you 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 are digressing from my question. Okay. I'm gonna block you. I'm gonna throw you out of here because you are a coward. You're running. Why? Because I said no. I'm not this. digressing. I said if you're a Muslim, then you are a liar. If you're gonna use this argument, so are you a liar or are you going to stop using an argument that I can turn against you? Because your own dean says. Allah forgives you by punishing someone else for your sins. Do you accept that? 
If so you, either if, you're a liar. If, if, if you said so. If you okay, said wait, so. Wait, 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 wait. No, I don't say so. Your Quran says so. Here you go. Allahu Akbar. Here you go. My question is not that. My question is. No, that is your question. Why can't God simply forgive? Why does Jesus have to die for his sin? Because he's paying yeah, because for, your debt for, of sin, which is death. I know. Look, now, do look, you agree? Hold on. Do you agree your prophet is, uh, your God is wicked and evil for punishing no. Jews and Christians for your sins? No, 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 no. Here no. is Sahih Muslim. Read it. Do you see it on the screen? Uh, punish them. Of Sahih what Muslim. To the Abu Muslim. Musa reported, That's Allah's messenger said, when it will be the day of resurrection, Allah will deliver to every Muslim a Jew or a Christian and say, that is your rescue from hellfire. So he's going to rescue you from hell by punishing a Jew and Christian for you. Do you say now, Allah, you are evil. Why can't you just simply forgive? No, because you cannot forgive here. Here is the afterlife. Why is afterlife, he punishing Jews and Christians for your sin? A, hell. Say, you, are, you see, you are conflicting two things that there's not nothing no, to I'm do. No, I'm not. He just said, no, this is your rescue from hell. Christ is innocent. Is innocent of the sin That's of the even of better. The you know why that's better? I'm not going to bury you on this. You ready? Why that's no, better? You cannot. Well, can I tell you why? Jesus, who's innocent, has no debt to pay. So he can then pay your debt because he has no debt of his own. But the Jews and Christians, they're sinners. They have debts. So why are they paying for their debts and yours in hell? That means your God is evil. No, 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 no. Because... You because don't get it. if, you don't if no, no, because if I have to if uh, if I have to to uh, to to pay the sins of of my creation, I will not send my son. I will send myself. Okay, then you didn't this, listen. See, this is why this you didn't is, listen. Did you hear son, what I said? Okay, my did son, you hear what I said? Okay, shut up for a minute and listen, because you don't know my dean. Did you hear what I said? That the reason why Jesus came is because it was created for him. Jesus with the Father and the Spirit created you and me, and creation was created for him. So he did come, the creator did come to pay the debt of his creation. But you don't know my dean. So let me show you where it says, Jesus with the Father and the Spirit created everything. Creation belongs to Jesus. That's why he came to save it. Open up Colossians for him, chapter 1. So you think you're smart, you don't know. I've studied your religion better than you, and you don't know my dean. So let's go to Colossians 1 to answer your question. Open up Colossians 1, read 13 to 20 for him. And then I'm going to come back and ask you the question you didn't answer, you ran from. So don't run. Let me answer you now. Colossians 1, 13 to 18. Okay. Now let's read. Ready? Listen to this. Are you ready? When he shows it, okay. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the son of his love, the son that God loves. In this son in whom we have redemption, through his blood, he shed his blood, the forgiveness of sins. He, the son, is the image, the surah of the invisible God, the firstborn supreme over all creation, for by him all things were created. So here it says, Jesus created you, that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. I'm going to repeat that part. So when Jesus with the Father and the Spirit created everything, it says it was created for Jesus, for him, the Son. So you were created for Jesus, not for Allah. And he is before all things, and in him all things consist. And he is the head of the body. Jesus is the head of the body, the church. Who is the beginning? He is the beginning of the new creation. He creates it and starts it. The firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have the preeminence. Now watch. The one who created you comes to save you. For it pleased the Father, the Father, that in his Son all the fullness should dwell. And by him, the Son, reconcile all things to himself. By him, whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace, Jesus made salam through the blood of his cross. So that tells you, you don't know my faith. Jesus created everything. And because he's the creator, he comes to save his creation by paying the debt of his creation out of his love. So now I want to ask you the question. Let's see if you're going to answer. You're going to run. Why does Allah punish the Jew and Christian for your sin? 
and for their sin by throwing them in hell to rescue you from hell. Where's the justice in this? I, I, I don't have the, the exact explanation of that. So you don't? I'm you sure? I can't, no, I don't have the exact explanation. Okay, so at least you're honest. 